Hello, my name is Alison Omani and I'm the VP of Translational Biology at Eurofins Discovery. The topic of my presentation is the Biomap Human Phenotypic Platform for Drug Discovery. This profiling platform is offered by Eurofins Discovery Phenotypic Services. Eurofins Discovery is comprised of six industry leaders, many of which are recognizable in their own right for their expansive menu of services and products. These companies are now integrated into one comprehensive portfolio that offers our clients a complete single source solution to support their drug discovery needs. Within this portfolio, Europeans Discovery Phenotypic Services enables our clients to access the broadest scope of standardized and validated in vitro phenotypic assays. These profiling platforms capture the complexity of human disease biology and with advanced analytics, deep-rooted expertise and experience, we can help clients advance prioritize hits and accelerate their drug discovery programs. Perhaps in its truest sense, the goal of drug discovery is not regulatory approval, but rather clinical adoption. Eurofins Discovery is laser focused on helping our clients to discover successful drug candidates that will ultimately benefit patients. To achieve this outcome, a drug candidate must meet three overarching criteria. First, it must demonstrate efficacy by modulating disease biology. Next, it has to be well tolerated by patients. And finally, it should exhibit superiority over therapies already approved for clinical use. Meta-analysis published by Dave Swinney, as well as excellent reviews by Jason Moffat, Ellen Berg, and others, have documented that phenotypic screening is a successful discovery strategy. In fact, the majority of small molecule, first-in-class drugs, approved over a recent decade, were discovered using phenotypic approaches. This can be attributed, at least in part, to the fact that phenotypic assays are closer to clinical outcomes. While target-based approaches enable rapid and high-throughput discovery of compounds, they typically require some prior target intelligence. In contrast, phenotypic approaches enable the unbiased discovery of compounds that are active for biological outcomes. Successful drug discovery programs are powered by using physiologically relevant human primary cell types and assays that are designed to capture key outcomes. For the Biomap platform, the assay systems are comprised of human primary cell types isolated and pooled from multiple healthy donors. All cell types are used at zero or low passage, are not adapted to cell culture conditions, and have intact regulatory and signaling networks. These tissue-specific human primary cell types are plated as monocultures or co-cultures that are then stimulated with disease-relevant factors such as cytokines or receptor ligands. These biomap systems are standardized and run to SOP and are used to assess the impact of compounds and controls on the levels of clinically relevant protein biomarkers to generate robust and reproducible data sets. The Biomap Phenotypic Platform, initially developed in 2000, was prompted by a need for better in vitro models of human diseases to support drug discovery. Taking a systems biology approach, the objective was it to integrate physiologically relevant disease models with advanced analytics to deliver actionable and translational insights. The three main pillars of the platform are illustrated here and include the in vitro human primary cell-based assays, proprietary and predictive analytical tools, and an extensive reference database. Data from testing compounds and controls in biomap systems is visualized and analyzed to gain insights on mechanistic activities relevant for efficacy and safety-related outcomes. This approach also provides guidance on indication selection and dosing, facilitates benchmarking, and can be used to assess for the presence of toxicity signatures. The third pillar of the platform is the Biomap Reference Database. This database contains activity profiles from more than 4,500 non-proprietary agents, including clinical drugs, failed candidates, mechanistic and tool compounds, and other benchmarks. 
Agent types represented in the database include small molecules, biologics, antibodies, and other test articles. This biomap reference database thus serves as a repository of mechanistic profiles that can be leveraged to analyze the profiles of proprietary agents on behalf of our clients and provide valuable and translational insights to support their programs. Biomap platform applications span the drug discovery and development pipeline from early screening to lead optimization phases and even through to late stage repurposing and combination studies. Over the past two decades, more than 50 individual biomap systems have been developed that model different human, tissue and disease states. A subset of selected systems have been collected into priority profiling panels, such as the Broad Scope Diversity Plus panel, as well as the more disease-focused panels that I will present later in this presentation. In addition, any individual system can be selected to test compounds or combinations and has the add-on option to procure RNA samples for subsequent transcriptomic studies. Finally, we offer a number of data packages and analytical services to support various programs. First, I'm going to discuss our largest panel of systems, the Diversity Plus panel. The Biomap Diversity Plus panel is comprised of 12 stimulated primary human cell-based assay systems, each of which models key aspects of tissue and disease states. This panel represents the broadest scope of biology to test compounds for biomarker activities, typically run over four concentrations. Along the x-axis are the 148 clinically relevant protein biomarkers, proliferation and cytotoxicity readouts that are assessed in these systems. The y-axis represents the relative levels of these biomarkers following 24-hour or in some cases a longer assay incubation window. Activities of the test agent are normalized to the parallel tested vehicle control. The gray envelope represents the historical vehicle control values for each readout over many experiments involving different donor pools. And this is used as a 95% confidence interval to determine activities of a test agent. The data is used to generate a biomactive biomap activity profile for each concentration, which is then analyzed to inform unexpected and unexpected outcomes. Deliverables for a Biomap Diversity Plus profiling study are summarized here and generally fall into two categories. First is the identification and interpretation of biomarker activities of the test agent itself, as well as comparative profile analysis with a nominated benchmark. The other deliverables provide mechanistic insights by comparing test agent profiles to profiles in the Biomap Reference Database. In addition, identification of potential translational biomarkers and similarity clustering round out the analysis for a comprehensive evaluation and interpretation of test agent activities. On this slide, we show the output and insights from the annotation and analysis of biomarker activities. This biomap plot illustrates the profiles of a test agent over its four concentrations. Annotated biomarker activities are interpreted for their relevance to efficacy and safety related outcomes. This lower plot illustrates the comparative benchmarking in which the test agent profile is overlaid with the profile of a nominated benchmark from the Biomap database to identify common and differentiating effects. This approach can help guide indication selection and dosing, as well as identify sentinel biomarkers for either the mechanism class or for the indication. Together, the analyses are designed to inform on efficacy, safety, and the potential for superiority highlighted earlier. The second output from Biomap Diversity Plus profiling involves exploring mechanism of action or MOA of a test agent. Since profiles represent mechanistic signatures, we can provide insights on likely MOA by comparing the profile of a test agent to profiles in the Biomap Reference Database. Top profile similarity matches help generate a mechanistic hypothesis related to target selectivity and dosing. 
Additional analysis involves mechanism class assignment based on the biomarker activity patterns built for 19 mechanism classes constructed with data on known compounds. Selected activities of a test agent can be assessed as potential translational biomarker activities based on the recurrence across 19 mechanism classes, with rarer activities likely being more useful than frequently modulated ones. In this case study, a candidate was identified from a phenotypic screen and confirmed active in a mouse model of rheumatoid arthritis, but could not be progressed without identifying an MOA. Here we show the activity profile in red of the top concentration of the candidate, overlaid with the profile of the top similarity match from an unsupervised search of the biomap database, shown in blue. The most similar match was a phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor, and indeed top matches for all candidate concentrations included other PD4 inhibitors, providing strong evidence that this was the likely MOA. Furthermore, while the MOA did confirm the test agent had therapeutic potential, it was a key finding for the program since there are already several PD4 inhibitors approved for clinical use. Biomap toxicity signature analysis is an optional add-on analytical service for diversity plus profiling datasets. This approach is used to detect the presence of pharmacology signatures associated with increased risk of certain effects in vivo. These biomarkers activities are part of a defined signature that was determined from activities detected with agents associated with that specific adverse outcome. To date, nine toxicity signatures have been developed that can be used to flag problematic compounds and help prioritize safer leads that have an increased potential for success in clinical trials. To focus on one signature, vascular toxicity, this is defined as an increased incidence of hypertension or cardiovascular disease related to atherosclerosis. One of the signature biomarkers is increased serum amyloid A, or SAA, detected in the inflamed coronary artery smooth muscle-based CASMAC system. Increased levels of serum amyloid A promotes the recruitment and activation of monocytes and macrophages into the vasculature. This leads to vascular dysfunction and calcification underlying the mechanism for this adverse signature. Additional biomap profiling services include disease focus panels aimed at validating efficacy for the relevant indication. Biomap T cell autoimmune panel consists of four systems based on stimulated T cells in different tissue contexts. Compounds can be evaluated for therapeutic potential targeting diseases that are driven by adaptive immune cell proliferation and activation. Such indications include autoimmune diseases, hematological malignancies, and graft versus host disease. This panel also includes comparison with seven standards of care in these indications to help guide selection of dosing and repurposing efforts. Any individual system can also be selected to test combinations. The Biomap Fibrosis Panel is comprised of systems involving inflamed and activated myofibroblasts, cultured alone or co-cultured with tissue-specific epithelial cell types. These systems have been validated with therapies approved for treating interstitial lung disease as well as idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Test agents can be assessed for antifibrotic and anti-inflammatory activities that are indicative of therapeutic potential to treat fibrosis-related diseases. Comparative analysis of test agents of combinations in any of these systems can also help guide indication selection, dosing, and repurposing efforts. Biomap oncology panels model the unique immune-suppressed tumor microenvironment biology that is key for immuno-oncology programs. Compounds, including large or small molecules, can be validated for IO potential based on their capacity to increase cytokine levels, indicative of restored immune responses and consistent with clinical efficacy. Here we report how one of these oncology systems modeling vascular immune TME biology was used to detect cooperative interactions between a small molecule drug paclitaxel in combination with an approved immune checkpoint inhibitor pembrolizumab. 
While each individual agent increased cytokine levels, the combination led to greater immune restoration, indicating the potential for enhanced efficacy and improved clinical outcomes. As I stated earlier, Successful drug discovery programs incorporate a high degree of physiological relevance by using human primary cell types and assays that are designed to capture key outcomes. Biomap testing is offered in two formats, early screening and profiling. Early screening services involve streamlined processes and deliverables designed to handle larger numbers of earlier stage compounds. The goal is to rapidly de-risk and differentiate chemistry based on impacts on complex human disease biology. For more advanced or later stage compounds, Biomap Profiling provides a more comprehensive approach to analyze test agents and leverage the expansive reference database with expert interpretation to provide valuable and actionable insights. To summarize, the Biomap Human Phenotypic Platform is the largest human primary cell-based technology used by industry, academic, and government leaders to discover better drugs. By focusing on assessments related to efficacy, safety, and superiority, biomap testing can help clients progress candidates rapidly and effectively from concept to clinic. Thank you for your attention. If you'd like to contact me, my email is shown here, alisonomani at eurofinsus.com. You can also reach out to your local Eurofins Discovery representative or visit our website at www.eurofinsdiscovery.com and click on phenotypic assays. Thank you again.